Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you <coughs> should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you haven't got your seat on the winter solstice session yet, you can do so on the website address uh, link in the description box below. And also, it's been a labour of love. I absolutely have had the best time creating this. I have made you a 2020 quarter calendar. It's a tarot card pool for every single day. So I'm going to re release four of these throughout 2020. The first one is up, so you can buy it now. Uh, you can get a daily tarot card pool and a write-up for it, full moon and new moon astrology. Uh, then I'll talk about the Saturn and Pluto conjunction and what that might mean and how it might shape up for you depending on your house. You want, if you loved the retrograde survival kit, you are going to go mad for this. It's uh, Like I said, I loved creating it and I hope you love it as much as I do. Before we start, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week when I went into my intuition for us, uh, my son's home, brothers and sisters, um, what I heard was consolidate your power. So whatever it is that's going to, it's almost like at the moment I feel like we're doing this whole thing of being a lightning rod. We're drawing energy, we're drawing power, it's like we're gathering our wings under us, like all these different motifs of bringing power into ourselves of, and holding it rather than just kind of releasing it. It's almost like I can feel this grand sort of pull in of energy so that when we're ready we can just open eyes, open hands and you know let it all go and that's why I wrote hero rising because the the images that I was seeing in my mind it was like that moment you know when when the hero finally has all of his power gathered up and then is ready to release it this week you're still in that um that chrysalis this is the, the week where you're still drawing the energy to you all right so it's not quite release point yet you'll know when it comes because you'll feel it our destiny card for the week ahead is the emperor right be all up in your power consolidate your power the emperor is about where you have authority where you have the strength to stand for something and also the thing about the emperor is he will take advice from everybody and he will weigh it up but the final decision has to be his so this is why i say to you hero rising consolidate your power the number four is all about foundation it's all about stability and you know the, the emperor is number four the fact that we've got this as the destiny card this week you may see or find yourself in a position of authority or power and the thing is when you're in those positions when you have those moments how you treat the people around you is very telling of what your true character is uh, you know it's been said that uh, how people treat their inferiors and this isn't to say we're above anybody else uh, how people treat their inferiors or, or people that can do nothing for them really marks the character of that person. Uh, so keep that in mind this week. Let's give it some context with a direction. Uh, the other thing about the Emperor card as well, yes, it represents your own personal power, being in the authority in your life, making decisions based on what you think is best. But it also talks about your ability to commit to something, to stand for something, to go for something or go after something. Your direction card, to give it some context, is the Knight of Cups. There is an offer or an opportunity that is going to be put on the table this week that could really change lives, right? There's something about the energy of this week and all throughout the whole zodiac, all of the messages this week have been of a certain energy or of a certain energy or a certain ilk or... Um, you know a certain dynamic or power and I love it this knight of cups it really does say that on your path this week something's going to be offered to you this could be you aligning with a person in authority somebody that's an authority in your chosen field somebody that's an authority in your job in your work this is about you being seen as a contender this is about you being seen as and just as I said that it turned four 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 
right? This is about you being seen as a peer. So you being seen as an equal rather than being seen as, you know, like somebody that, oh, well, you've got a little way to go yet and all the rest of it. This is about you being seen as somebody that deserves to be in a specific position, right? So whoever or whatever you're dealing with this week, you, you will feel that you are cared for and also respected, which is beautiful. To have both of those in in you know is because usually you get one or the other <laughs> um, and very often you know people only respect anyway i'm not going to get into that but yeah it's, it's a beautiful energy so our insight card for the week ahead is the ace of pentacles this could really be an opportunity that ends up changing everything for you this is a fantastic week aquarius and it really does suggest that whatever this opportunity is it has the ability to rewrite your financial and material world for a long time to come in uh, in another way this is like it's like a grand beginning there's going to be something that starts this week that really just goes on to be amazing for you that could have some amazing far-reaching ripples uh, and it's what it requires from you is for you to commit you've got to show up and you know a lot of people say that oh, Aquarius is is commitment phobic we're really not we just don't believe in putting our time and energy into things um, that we don't see the future of because Aquarius is the sign of the future we are so far ahead in the future often that we kind of miss the present moment so your message in that respect is be in the present consolidate your power now be focused in the here and now so when this opportunity comes up you can demonstrate your best and know that this opportunity requires your commitment in order to bring you the fruits of its of, of its fruition right beautiful i mean we really couldn't ask for any more i for one will have my eyes wide open this week like what is it where is it you know all of the rest of it but and you know if you're cross watching and you know this is about a partner or something the truth of aquarius is is that you know that they they will not invest in a future they will not invest in anything that they don't see a future of or in and that is is as plain as that all right so if you're having struggle getting them to commit ask yourself is there actually a future for us and if you think that's the case then state your case to them that's for all you little cross watchers out there i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week take care let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you what your opportunity is um and i will do the same because you know this, we're, we're all in this together <laughs> <laughs> sorry that's just me being a dork take care and i'll see you soon